back. My, my next guest tonight is a filmmaker and explorer. Ah, that explains the audience. <laughs> He's got a new film, My Father, the Captain, Jacques-Yves Cousteau. It's available in the Ocean Future Society, at the Ocean Future Society. What, is that their website? <laughs> but we can't say the name of their website. Why, because CBS have got a bug in their ass about that? <laughs> things to be mad at. It's not like anybody said to them, you know, Hellboy, greater than X. <laughs> anyway, take, take a look at this. Jacques Cousteau was also my father. And at the 100th anniversary of his birth, I'm honored to revisit the adventure and the legacy he left. Not only to his heirs, but to us all. I want to remind us that he was a pioneer and a visionary. I want to hear from those who listened to him, were inspired, and are still working to better a world. Jean-Michel Cousteau, everybody, Jean-Michel Cousteau. Jean-Michel, we meet again. Do you know where we met last time? Yes, of course I remember. We were in Paris. That's right. We were in Paris in the Tuileries Gardens where we uh, had little robot boats. And, and, and you tried to destroy mine. I did not try to destroy yes, your you boat. Your boat was in my way. That's what happens. Well, that's what happens in the real world, not the world of science. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm looking at this uh, Explore the West Coast National Marine Sanctuaries with Jean-Michel Cousteau, right? And uh, what kind of, what's going on here? This is one of our uh, members, Holly Lohais, who loves squids. I can see. She's, the squid seems very fond of her, too. Well, they are very big squids which occasionally come up this coast. Normally they are down. That tells you that things are changing. But what we're trying to do here is to make sure that people who don't know how much of the tax money has been put into protecting the coastline or protecting marine parks for people to enjoy now, in the future, your children, your grandchildren, and uh, also the fact that by doing so, it helps the fishing industry because it acts like protected areas and yeah. the fish have to go somewhere to be caught. So a lot of very, very good things are happening and these national marine sanctuaries of the West Coast. This is all California then? California, so, Oregon? Uh, yeah, yeah, all the way up. Washington? Yeah, and it, the advantage oh, is that we are now... Is that your boat? Going to, well, <laughs> we used that boat that time. But, uh, <coughs> you know, we're professional beggars, so we, we get people wait, to wait, help wait, us all the, the time. The name of that boat's Calamari. That's, That's a little like, insensitive. <laughs> I'm really glad you're paying attention. It's, it's insensitive. You, you, I think it's insensitive. You're really paying it's like, attention. You, you think if that, if, that, if that animal there could speak, it would like, oh, you're on a boat called Calamari? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> You know what they would do? They would say, oh, you're honoring our name. Maybe you're going to protect us. <laughs> Did you just impersonate a squid? You know, squids have, you know how many arms? Eight, 16, four, six, nine, ten, two, ten, ten, ten. <laughs> it's going to be a long <laughs> night there. Two of them are longer than the others. Right. Do you know why? Uh, so they can reach stuff on the high shelves. <laughs> it's for mating. <laughs> Don't you use genitalia for mating? Can we need to take you underwater. <laughs> I've been underwater many times, and I've seen uh, creatures uh, having at it underwater, and none of them were using their arms. <laughs> We want to show you that. And maybe when there are three or four of these, they can grab you and uh, take you away. <laughs> Hell, man. 
No, no, don't. This worry. is about Paris and me and you with the boat, isn't it? It's <laughs> well, that's my term. Yeah. Hey, well, I want to talk to you about the film. I want to talk to you about the movie, about your father. It, it would be a hundred this. Today, uh, this, this no, year? we just uh, just passed. Right. But uh, on the day of his birth, a hundred years, uh, my family, the old timers, we all went diving where the first expedition ever take place. It was a very emotional, very uh, wonderful time because he's had a major impact on a lot of people, whether it's. Uh, uh, Ted Turner or James Cameron or uh, President uh, Gorbachev and so we highlighting the impact that he's had on decision makers oh, your father was honoring him. Did yeah. your father, did he invent the... Uh, he co-invented the, co the aqualung, the, aqualung. Or the regulator which allows you to breathe uh, at ambient, ambient pressure underwater. Now, I've, I've done a lot of diving. But I've never, do you ever sit around what the house? What do you mean you've done a lot well, of You know diving. what I'm talking about. I've done diving. I've what? been diving. All right. I haven't been getting it on with Mr. Longarms. Three times? Four times? No, I went to Shark Week. I went to the Bahamas. I went there. I'm a certified diver. Come on. You know this time. Come on. The Bahamas are nice. What? There are gentle sharks in the Bahamas. You have to come with me here in California. No, there's great whites in California. That's why. <laughs> I think they know you and they won't touch you. <laughs> I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. So we can do it. Yeah, all right. You know? All right, fine. When? Oh, soon. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're, uh, we're out of time. So. Uh, no. <laughs> you, want a, you want a mouth organ or the, or the big cash prize? Do you want the big cash prize? Depends. Buy yourself a little calamari? Depends, Depends because. <laughs> Your previ previous guest uh, walked away with, uh, wh what was it, $50,000? $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you don't want this? No. <laughs> All right, how much is here, 50 bucks? All right, so 100 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks in singles. 50 bucks in singles. Right. No. 50 bucks in singles. Uh, 50 bucks in quarters. A mouth organ. And a pen. That race underwater, that pen. Shoppies, it doesn't stay. Don't, right? don't say the name of it. It's, it's not, it's a indiscriminate no, pen. No, but it... It doesn't say Craig Ferguson. It doesn't say Craig Ferguson on it, and do you know why? No. Because they're cheap bastards here. That's right. <laughs> You've told me that before. I'm telling you, it's so the truth. So, what's your question? Oh, okay. Uh, so, you want to go for the... the well, on whatever the, this is? No. I'll throw in a book as well. There you are. No. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. If I win, and I'll DVD, give you the book. It's, oh, if you win, you give me the book? What? I could look. I could put the DVD signed... By you. Oh, I'll put I'll put that in. Uh, okay. And then uh, then uh, you can win it back. Your cup? No, you can't have my cup. Don't you? Try. <laughs> I knew it. I yeah, knew yeah. It. It's, it's enough. Don't look. Don't even look at that. <laughs> you can't see that. <laughs> okay, sir. All right, you ready? What do you want? You want to answer the question? You want to guess what's in my box? Here's how it works. The box is in my head. I don't know what's in it. Jeff knows what you guess what's in it. You want to do the question? I thought so. Yeah, I'll right. do the question because I, I don't want to win that quickly because I think it's empty out there. <laughs> you put it on the table. We'll, we'll put what on the table? Which, it, why are you being like this? Everything. I don't understand why you're being I've like this. heard you all evening with this very beautiful young lady. Beautiful young girl? Yeah. yeah, I could have been talking to her for an extra segment, but no, have you? Come on, come on. <laughs> Do not awe oh, the Frenchman. <laughs> in what profession? Oh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik, of course. In what profession would you need to master the so called pit maneuver? Would it be a NASCAR driver? A hog farmer or a highway patrol officer? NASCAR driver, hog mar farmer, or highway patrol officer? The pit maneuver. I'm going to give this to you. It doesn't matter what you say. You say. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> That's wrong. 
So you just clapped there saying, I'm stupid too. <laughs> no, it is in fact, it's correct. Yeah, it's Highway Patrol Officer. You've won the largest prize in the history of the show.